Hello everyone, and in today's video, we will be integrating this problem. Okay. Okay. Well, to start off, we need to write that the x is equal to 2 times um, sine theta. Okay. Which also means that dx is going to be 2 times cosine theta times d theta. Okay. So now with those two things we know, let's put, it, put them in there. If we do so, we would get the integral from 4 minus 4 times sine squared theta times 2 cosine theta. Okay, so from here, right here, right, I can actually do this. And 1 minus sine squared theta is just cosine squared theta, okay? And this, I can actually break them up like square root of 4 times square root of cosine squared theta. So, the square root of 4 is actually the coefficient, so that can come up here, multiply 2, but there's another coefficient, so that's times 4. So we will, we will not have the 2, and also that square root of cosine squared theta is just cosine theta, so yeah, we would have cosine theta. Okay, and also from here, we would get 4 times the square root, wait no, 4 times the integral of cosine squared theta times d theta. And now from cosine squared theta, if we want to integral that, we need to memorize where cosine to theta is equal to, actually I will put them in here, where cosine to theta is equal to cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta, okay? And the sine squared theta is 1 minus cosine squared theta, which means it would be 2 times cosine squared theta minus 1, okay? Minus 1. Yeah, okay, we will get this. And if we want the cosine squared theta alone, we would plus 1 and divide 2 on each side. That is equal to cosine 2 theta plus 1 over 2 is equal to cosine squared theta. Okay, now, so let's put this into here. But the 1 over 2, you see, is actually the coefficient again. So that is equal to 2 times the integral of cosine 2 theta plus 1 times d theta. Okay, and I guess that is go okay. And here, integraling that is really, really easy. Okay, that would get us to 2 times sine 2 theta over 2 plus theta. Okay, or that is equal to sine 2 theta plus 2 times theta. And the way we would get this in terms of x, first thing we need to change is sine 2 theta we have to change it into 2 times sine theta times cosine theta. Though that is one of the things you have to memorize from the trigonometry identities. Okay, so to find the value of sine theta and cosine theta, and theta is to make a triangle. Make a triangle. Okay, make a triangle from what? Okay. Of this, I just divide it to on each side, getting x over 2 is equal to sine theta. So if this is theta, which means this is going to be x and this is going to be 2, so using the Pythagorean theorem we get 4 minus x squared. So we know that the sine theta is equal to x over 2. That's one thing now, but what about the cosine? Cosine theta. Cosine theta is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse, and the adjacent is this, and the hypotenuse is this. So we get that cosine theta is equal to square root of 4 minus x squared over 2. So the way we would find the theta is from this again, where we have x over 2 is equal okay, I will switch the places. We have sine theta is equal to x over 2. So when I multiply sine to the power of negative 1 and the sine the power of negative 1 up here, we would get of this. So, 
the sine to the power of negative 1 times sine just cancels out, leaving us the theta is equal to actually the sine to the power of negative 1 is actually arc sine of x over 2. So we have theta is equal to arc sine x over 2. So we know three things, and let's just put them in here. Okay. When we do that, we would get 2 times sine theta, which was this. So we have x over 2 times cosine theta, which was this. And now the plus 2 times arc sine of x over 2. So that's 2 times arc sine x over 2 of x over 2. And we can simplify this further by having x times square root of 4 minus x squared over 2 plus 2, oops, that's a, 2 times arc sine x over 2. Oh yeah, and also, I forgot to add c. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, guys. Throughout the video, I forgot to add c. Well, we, we, here we have it, though. I'm sorry about that. And we have our answer, so I hope you guys learned something from this video. And if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comment section down below. So I would get them and answer it back as soon as I get them. So I guess this is a bye. Bye.